Okay guys, today's video I'm going to show you how to install SciGenMod 10.2 which is based on Android version 4.3 which is the newest Android version at this time and we're going to show you how to install SciGenMod, like I said 10.2 on the new Nexus 7 2013 version which is this version right here so I'm going to show you what I've got right now just so you're, you're tracking with me you can see what I'm running right here like I said 4.3 Nexus 7 newest build is the JSS 15R at this moment anyway and what you're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and download two files and I'm just gonna show them to you they are right here one of them is the SciGen Mod Nightly right there and the other one is the Google applications for uh, 10.2 SciGen Mod or Android 4.3 which are right there and you're going to want to put those both on your SD card or internal SD card because it doesn't have external. And know where they're at. And then the other things you're going to need to do is have a custom recovery installed. Now, I'm not going to go over that right now. I'm going to assume you already have it. If you don't and you want to put custom recovery on this device or root access or any of that good stuff, please check out my other videos on this device on either my YouTube playlist or rootjunkie.com. It's great stuff on either site. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go into an app right now and we're going to go ahead and this is Goo Manager and I'm going to hit Reboot Recovery and go ahead and boot into my recovery system which is Team Win Recovery Project or Twerp Recovery that's what I like to call it for short um, so here we go we're booted up and really important you want to make sure you have good battery life before you start this install process after uh, you have good battery life you're going to want to go ahead and do a backup and swipe across and do an Android backup. I'm not going to do that because I can show you I just did one actually a couple minutes ago. So right there on 10.2. So all we're going to do from here is go to wipes, go ahead and swipe across and this is just going to do a standard wipe which wipes factory resets, wipes Delvic, wipes cache, all that kind of goodies and go back, listen to my phone whistle and then we're going to go to installs and we're in downloads here, so I'm actually going to go to ROMs, which is where I put my files. And we're going to select the CM10 nightly. And then we're going to make sure it's listed. It is. Add another file. Google or G apps. Jelly Bean. Select those. They are listed. And then go ahead and swipe across to install the ROM. So once you're done installing, we're just going to reboot and boot up this ROM and check it out. So we'll go from there. Okay, so we've gone ahead and we've uh, finished the install process, so we're just going to go reboot system. And we're going to go ahead and boot up into SciGenMod. Now, I'm just going to show you guys the boot logo right here just because I want to see what it is. I think it's just the standard SciGenMod circle. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and go through some uh, setup processes here. And I'll show you guys the ROM and some of the features of SciGenMod, which are awesome, to say the least. So there you go, boot animation, and we'll be back. I think I'm actually going to record my uh, startup process because this is a different screen than I've seen before. I've not seen this uh, setup. So let's go ahead and just go through this. Um, set up a SideGemon account. Yeah, so this is new. I've not done this. You can do it if you want. I'm going to skip over right now just for the, the time being. But I've not seen this uh, startup logo before. The startup menu, if you want to say it like that. So I'm going to skip this. Um, and then now it's your Google account and all that kind of good stuff which I'm going to skip through also but this whole setup screen is totally different so that's I, I like it it's cool um, I'm gonna go ahead and allow that also hit next time and date there it is okay so I'll go ahead and finish and hit OK and boom here we go this is like I said side and mod and uh, we're just going to kind of scoop through it really quick here and see what we have on our home screens. It's uh, pretty standard. We have our uh, pull down and our notifications on this side. Um, pretty standard there. Let's go ahead and go into settings. And here's your look. So let's go through, first of all, go into about tablet and show you, like I said, 4.3 right there. Side you my nightly and go back we got super user built into the settings at this point and nothing in there right now but it's there um, all the other goodies right here here's some button stuff I'm not sure what that is 
actually four steps. This is a nightly, not necessarily stable. It should be pretty functional, but there could be bugs in it because it's a nightly update. Now, if you want to install like tomorrow night's update, you install it, it might fix it. It's hard to say. That's the cool thing about nightlies. You guys can just flash right on top of them without wiping data, and you'll have the new version, newest version that the team has been working on. We have home screen stuff for launchers. We have Trebuchet launcher right there. Um, lock screen stuff and widgets and all its fun goodies that you can do right there. It does come obviously with Theme Chooser and you can apply your themes from the market that you download from Google Play. And interface, this is where all the fun happens and all the customization is of pie control and status bar things. So you can do battery styles circle with percentage and so on and so forth through Sige and mod so there we go that's pretty much uh, Sige and mod I mean there's there's more to it you can play with and tweak but this is this is the basics of it right here um, that's it that's how to install it on your Nexus 7 pretty simple pretty easy not a real big deal so I hope you guys like this video uh, as always follow me at rootjunkie.com for tons of great uh, Android hacking and ROM videos like this and uh, Facebook or Twitter over there on the other side also that's it talk to you guys later Root Junkie out